Hey what's up guys, it's Beyond Swimming Day here and last week I made a video on 5 Native American monsters and in that video Arlen8 left me a comment asking me if humans turned into wendigos well I said I looked into it and I did so here's the video now on wendigo psychosis enjoy Wendigos are spirits in Native American legend they are often associated with cold, greed, and hunger. With that spread to human, this brings it on to the controversial medical term, Wendigo psychosis. Wendigo psychosis is more of a culture-bound syndrome described by psychiatrists. Wendigo psychosis is when a person becomes a Wendigo, or believes so. They believe that they themselves are an unstoppable, ravenous monster after some cannibalistic activities. Symptoms of this condition include a craving for human flesh and a fear of becoming a cannibal. Accounts of Wendigo psychosis date back to 1661 as they were recorded in the Jesuit relations. Jesuit relations are reports from the Jesuit missionaries. One of the most famous cases, though, was reported in the winter of 1878 in Alberta, Canada. A trapper named Swift Runner was on the brink of starvation and killed and ate his wife and five children. He confessed to the crime and was executed. The question here was if the case actually had to do with Wendigos. It seemed that he was desperate. However, the confusing part of this was that he was near some food supplies. It seemed greedy, like the Wendigo, and it was as if he was under a Wendigo's influence. People under Wendigo psychosis have also been killed by people, such as Filler Jack. Uh, Filler Jack was a chief that was known to have powers to defeat Wendigos and kill them. However, killing is killing, and it is unjustified to kill a person under Wendigo psychosis. When they did nothing wrong. He got arrested by officials. However, he was never tried as he committed suicide a few days after he was arrested. The topic of Wendigo psychosis was still being debated. However, by the 20th century, cases of Wendigo psychosis greatly decreased as Western ideas spread to Native American culture. Also, it might be important that you know that cases of Wendigo psychosis were only found in North America. Anyways guys, at the end of the day, it's all how you interpret it. Is it all just some cultural belief? Or do Wendigos actually exist? And do they live among us? Anyways, that's it for me. See you next time, whenever I make a video, and peace.